know that the treatment would buy me some time, but not much time, okay? So thank you very much, but I have made up my mind. Look, it doesn't matter, because it's still a death sentence, okay? Death sentence? Seriously? How much of that did you just hear? Enough to know you're in trouble. Hey, she's a freshman at LU. Hannah O'Connor. Yeah, she OD'd on pills a couple months ago, too. What difference does it make what kind of pills? Oh, and here's another thing. I caught her trying to have sex with my daughter's boyfriend. So start digging and don't stop until you come up with psycho nympho. Haven't you hurt enough people already? Just who am I hurting, Blair? Not Marty. When she flew through the air with the greatest of ease, I wasn't even there. And if you're here because you're all boo-hoo about Cole not making bail, then well, that's not on me either. I didn't pay that judge a dime. So if you're here to plead his case... I'm not. I don't, don't want to hear your case either. I'm not going to take sides, especially yours. You know I've done that before, and it's never paid off. I don't need your side. I've got Star. At least she believes me. Oh, well, let's cue the violin, Give me my shall phone, please. We? No, I'm not going to give you the phone. Where'd you get this anyway? Who smuggled this in for you, huh? Nobody. I didn't have to have it smuggled. You convinced your daughter to give it to you? Great. Okay, I have another question. Who is the uh, psycho nympho that you're plotting against? Why don't you ask Cole? He's the one fooling around with her. What are you talking about? His friend, Hannah? His friend, Hannah. They're not friends. Star knows it and I know it. That's why she lied to the police. Oh, you're keeping this paranoid fantasy alive, aren't no, you? it's not fantasy. It's not paranoia. <sighs> She was just here, just in this room, trying to make a deal with me. What kind of a deal? Uh, she said she'd change the story about seeing me push Marty if I dropped the charges against Cole. You serious? So would you please hand me my phone? It's like I'm in charge of my own defense now that Taya's driven off the road. Yeah, why don't you leave Taya alone? She's got bigger things to deal with right now. That's what she said. What's going on with her? Oh, what do you mean, you know I'm in trouble? Well, if Todd can get the death penalty for killing an unborn baby, Makes your job a lot harder. <laughs> You're right, it does. Well, you didn't have to defend him, Mom. That was your choice. I have to get to school. Daniela, wait. No, I can't. I'll be late. Uh, please. I I'll give you a note. This, this is more important than school. Yeah, well, whatever Taya's problem is, she's not being accused of murder, is she? Why don't you stop being so melodramatic? You know, it's not my fault Marty lost her baby, but there are plenty of people in this town who want me to fry for it. What could Taya have going on that could possibly compare to that? Let him help. You want to see Pink Todd helps? Let him surprise you. I mean, couldn't you use just a really great surprise today? <laughs> Thank you for keeping this to yourself. Blair. Maybe Taya has to deal with raising your daughter, Todd. And maybe Danny is so freaked out by the fact that her mother could possibly represent you. Maybe that's what Taya has to deal with. Why don't you just cut her some slack and stop your whining? Since when is it okay for me to cut school? Well, <laughs> these, these are special circumstances. Why? Wait. Tonight is, is your prom. So? It's your prom, Nana. Oh, my God. This is a special night for you and Matthew. I guess. You guess? Look, I just don't get what the prom has to do with staying home from school. Well, you don't have a prom dress yet. Well, we have to fix that. And you know what they say. When the going gets tough, the tough go shopping. The mall's not even open. Well, yet. screw the mall. There's a shishi boutique right downstairs. Look, Mom, I know what you're doing. You're being super nice to me, so I won't get mad at you for defending Todd. Or maybe it's something else entirely. Maybe I've been waiting half my damn life to go buy a prom dress with my daughter. OK, you win. The tough goes shopping. Yes. <laughs> I can't believe Renee let us take all these home. Are you kidding me?
for las mujeres de la familia Delgado. The world is our oyster, sweetheart. Yeah, well, I'll try them on later, okay? Oh, no. After I get home from school. Honey, the world may be our oyster, but Renee needs these back. There are going to be other last-minute shoppers looking for prom dresses to wear. Please, try one on now. Come on. Come on, for me. <laughs> Come on. I don't get it. Why are you so intense about this? <laughs> so I'm supposed to believe that Tay is too busy with Danny to care whether I live or die? I don't think so. There's more to it than that. She was acting too strange yesterday. If you know something, you need to tell me. No, I don't need to do anything, Todd. Remember when you told me that Taya told you that I was the love of her life? Oh, like you'd ever let me forget it? Well, is it true? Yes, I think it is. And if something's going on, don't you think I should know about it? Wait, you know what, Todd? That is Taya's decision, not mine. So there is something that I don't know. Well, Blair, listen, if I'm going to do anything about it, it's got to be now, because when I'm on trial, it'll be too late. This is weird. I feel like I'm playing dress up. Let me see. No, seriously, I look in the mirror and I don't know who that is. <laughs> look, if you don't like the dress, you can you can try on another one. But first, let me see, all right? Before before you decide that you don't want to, let me just see what. It... Oh my God, sweetheart, you look beautiful. Clara, Tay and I have a kid together. I think I deserve to know what's going on with her. If something's wrong, you tell me. Is something wrong? Yes. I couldn't 